Hey everyone, welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today is a special day because this will be the Siege Battle Tournament. We'll be starting our first battle. I believe this will be the Round 3 or the quarterfinals, alright? So today we are up against Lazy Time. It's gonna be starting really soon. So just taking another look at all the brackets here. Wick Wick will be up against Avenger X. VRK against Zenith. So two Thai guilds there. And Red Devils against the Candy House. Oh, it's gonna be starting here in about one second. Okay, I'll briefly go through the defenses, then we have to hit it real quick. So uh, let's just check this tower 4 here. LD Towers, tower 5. Kumon Vigor, Chiana, Sweet 1, Iris. This tower 9, okay. Savannah, Sweet 1, Gianna. Martinas, Kumon Gianna, Savannah. Oh, actually really strong uh, front lines here. Uh, we'll just head into this uh, Shaila, Martina and Huazem with our Aegir, Belladon and Elusia. Okay, we <laughs> it's so dangerous. Our Bella is almost dead here. Yeah, we have to steal the attack bar. Have to put the Martina to sleep. Yeah, there's no way, there's no other way around this. We put the Martina to sleep here. <sighs> that's a very nice additional prop. We needed that badly. Now we'll be just working on this Shiner. Okay, please. Nice, nice additional turn. We have to win our first fight <laughs> to gain some confidence. Okay, we'll heal up. Put the branding again. Ah, very unfortunate we proc the passive on the Hwadem. I thought we could leave it at one bar of HP and she would die to the dots, but that isn't the case. We have to push the attack bar off that uh, Shina again. We'll just continue working on the Shina. Nice additional proc. Okay, we put the Martina to sleep right again. And this should do it. We got our first ring, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. A few of my guildmates are already losing. That's not good. Okay, 1v3. Even if she kills off my Belladion, we should be good. We're starting off strong this one. For our next fight, we have to hit this tower 10 here. It's the LD tower. Atamel, Molly, and Armana. I'm just gonna bring in my Molong, Ikaras, and... What would the last unit be? I think Beta, Beta will do. Yep. We'll just head into this one. So the concept of this fight is um, we snipe off the Armana first. And then we just have to keep turn cycling until we get back our skills online to kill off the Artamel and Molly after that. Either one. But most importantly, we get the kill on the Armana here. Okay, Reckless Assault. Yeah, they shouldn't cut me because my speed tune is... Uh, between Molong and Icarus is about 1 or 2 speed, so perfectly fine. We sniped off that Armana already. Now we just have to sustain and turn cycle for our skills to come back online. And most likely killing off the... Either one actually, doesn't really matter. I think we already won this one. Our skills are back up online. Molong has the snipe. Um, we are waiting for Icarus to get her skill up. Um, I think the next round should do it. Yep, we'll push the attack bar. Dark recovery into the Reckless Assault. <sighs> okay. Second win of the day. For third fight, okay, let's head into this Tessorion, Singzer, and Molly. So we've been seeing this uh, quite a lot recently. In Asia server is mainly for a stall defense in a way because um, siege tournaments the tower cooldown is 30 minutes so if you take like 5 to 10 minutes to fight this kind of team it's actually kind of a win <laughs> I'd say all right so now we'll just put the medical support on Emma and we'll be putting this sanctuary here uh, we have to work on something that is armor broken. Didn't get it. 
Oh shit, this is not good. My finger is <laughs> left with one turn immunity. Uh, he violent prop too much. Oh shit. The Oblivion might be coming here. They are so tanky. <laughs> okay, at least we got the armor break on the Singzer now. I think I misplayed. I should not have buffed. Oh no, my Fingyan might die here. Come on, Emma, you have to prop. Okay, we heal up again. That's not enough, Emma, you have to prop more. We need the heals. We need the heals rolling. Okay, I think we have no choice but to aim this Molly now. Stop rocking, please. Strip. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I think we might lose this. We can't armor break anything. Ah! Bring in, don't die. Crit. Just 8,000, that's not enough. Okay, we'll cleanse again. Strip my heal buff. Molly, please, don't do that. <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. I think we lost this one. Once Ping N goes down, it's basically GG. <sighs> Our first loss of the day, guys. Oh shit, what a bad play here. Honestly, this team... Isn't that good against Tassarian Singzer Molly? Because the problem is they are so tanky, we can't armor break, and the Molly's heals is so annoying. Yeah, we'll just leave this one. Damn it, our first loss. We have to play very seriously from here. We can't really lose too much. So, yeah, let's just head into this Bastet Perna Odin with our Annabelle, Rocky, and Triana. Uh. It should be fine, guys. Didn't buff. Oh, now we are in the trouble because they are still in. They are still under the immunity. Okay. Yeah, we have to use our Rocky second skill first because we can't kill anything with our third skill. Didn't land any armor break. <laughs> okay, thank God the Perna got armor broken there. Yeah, I think I'll just heal, and we'll just kill off this Perna now. Okay, that's very nice. Yeah, we do not need to heal here because the Triana passive will be uh, propped by that Odin. Now the problem is we have to turn cycle to heal up our Annabelle. Okay, we do have our cleanse now and hopefully this doesn't kill our Annabelle. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal here just to play it safe. Additional prop. Okay. Luckily, I healed because if I did not do that, the Odin might potentially kill off my Annabelle and he will, got, he will have gotten 5 stacks <laughs> and kill off my Triana after that. So we do not want that to happen. We landed the armor break. So many props. Okay. Uh, Alright. But we do have the Triana's passive up again. Alright, we'll just kill off this Odin and we should be good. Thank you for hitting my Rocky <laughs> instead of the Annabelle. Okay, this was actually a very close one. Um, 3v1, this Bastet will definitely die. I don't believe she'll win us. Yeah, Soul Crusher, good crit. Another crit, okay. Fasten the winning process here. Nice sleep. Okay. Three wins, one loss right now. The situation is looking pretty good on our side. And let's just continue on here to fight this Kumon, Clara, and Savannah. Um, this team is really safe. The Fingyan, Perna, and Emilia. As long as Emilia doesn't get stunned on the first turn. <laughs> okay. Additional prop again by that Kumon. 
Oh no! Please don't kill off my Perna. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the raw damage here on the Clara. Critical strike. Wow, shit, that's a lot of damage. Stop proccing! Okay, we... Do I armor break? I think I need to cleanse though, yeah. You just do that. Stun! Okay, Emilia, we... once we get the immunity here, I think we should be good. Yeah, we'll place the defense buff. Nice, armor break. Okay, good. We'll try to kill off this Kumun first. Yeah, Clara dies already. Um, one hit by Perna. Yeah, this Flame Nova should do it. 3v1. Alright, got a little bit scary at the start because of the stun on Emilia. But thankfully, our Feng Yan didn't die. <laughs> because even if Perna dies, we have another life. And uh, the only armor break that will be coming up from them will be the Clara's one on Feng Yan only because Savannah did her uh, third skill already. And yeah, <sighs> another win. We have to take this tower for here and it's another Kumun Clara Savannah tower. Um, this time we'll just bring in our John, Jean, Diana and Leo. It's also a very very safe counter. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna use this every time we face this kind of KCS. Okay, we put the shield up. Provo, nice. Um, we'll work on the Savannah first. Strip my invincibility. That's not good. Don't prop. Okay, stun. Nice. Yep, we'll change to the human form. Kill off the Savannah here. Oh, that's not too good though. We didn't strip the shield until the end. Okay, but thankfully we dismounted her. Okay, thankfully no stun on my Leo and Diana, so we'll be able to turn to the human form and try to kill off this Savannah. Hopefully we can do it. That's not enough. The resistance is actually really high. Additional turn though. <laughs> okay, so from here on out, it's gonna be very simple. Uh, we kill off the Clara first and leaving the Kumun for the last. And... Oh, that's actually really dangerous. But, we do have the Provoke into the clan, so yep, we are good, we are good. As long as we control them, uh, they will not be able to hit my Diana. This Kumon will be finally dying here. We'll just Provoke him up again. And once my Diana moves, we should win this one. Took at least 3 to 4 minutes, honestly. Very tanky. We have 4 more swords left, so we have to hit this. Net 4 tower here, it's the Kumon, Vigor, and Triana. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna bring in my Kumon, Lauren, and Beta. Alright, so we'll put the Serenity up. Of course, if you do not have Beta, Triana will work as well. Uh, most importantly, you have to kill off the opponent's Kumon first. Alright. Uh, we didn't get the strip and armor break on the Kumon earlier. So we can't really do anything now. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we'll, we'll push the attack bar of the Lauren there. Good procs by my beta. So we'll be able to nuke here. <laughs> 23,000. And we have to push back on Lauren again soon. Okay. Nice. No proc. Okay, the Kumon will be going down really soon here. We push the attack bar down again. Nice strip. Normal attack. I think this should do it. We got another win in the back, guys. <laughs> uh, 2v3 against this Vigor and Triana. There's no way for them to kill me. Uh, we'll just work on the Triana first. Because even if Vigor gets insane procs, we do have the revive coming out from Beta. And yeah, like I said, when if you're using Triana as well, Triana might be able to uh, sustain your Kumun for one more turn into the cleanse and heal, and you should be good from there. Alright, so now 3v1, this Vigor will be definitely dying here. Uh, I believe this will be my 6th win, right? 6-1. Uh, we lost one earlier against the Tessarion 
Xingzhu and Molly. Next off, we'll be hitting this tower 8 here, and it's a very, very weird defense. Skogul, Fire Bison, and the Barbara. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm not too sure what to do against this, but we'll just Rika and Ganny. I believe this should be fine because they do not have any immunity, right? So. Just lay out our Fire Garden Angel. Very, very nice stun onto the Barbara. And we'll reset the cooldown on the Skogu as well. Because we do not want him to throw the rock up. Ventilate Rika. And yeah, we'll be able to use the Fire Guardian Angel again. And this dots will definitely be killing off the Skogu, I believe. I think we need one more uh, Ventilate into the Fire Garden Angel and the Skogo will definitely die there. No sleep. Oh, actually we don't need that. The Skogo will definitely die here. So we'll just reset uh, the Fire Bison. Honestly, I'm not too sure what he has installed in his skill set. <laughs> Okay, our Rika dies here, but doesn't matter, we'll just uh, normal attack because we do have the revive coming up from Eladril. That's the sole reason why I brought him because we've already used our beta, two of them. So, this stun, nice, we'll heal up and we do have additional procs, okay. Uh, still magic here, definitely will die though. Just normal attack, put some glancing just in case she violent procs. Actually misclick, I should have been... I, I wanted to heal Rika actually, but doesn't matter. This should do it. Nice stun. And... Okay. 7 wins. Alright boys, we are moving on to the semi-finals here. Lazy time do not have the swords to cut us already, so... Yeah, we are just trying to finish up our swords right now. Up against this Busted Perna and Odin. Um, just gonna Galen Zyros Cleave this guy. If we get uh, resisted on the armor break, we lose. If we don't, then we win. Very simple. <laughs> okay, the Odin resisted. That is not good. I don't think we can kill him. Just Half-Life. So he'll be getting 5 stacks with the attack buff. Yeah, Galen is dead here. Additional turn. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Even if we kill off the Odin here, I don't think we have the HP or the damage to deal with this bastard. Yeah. So, I mean, I could always run like my Fingyan, Vela, and Arena. That one is very safe. Other than that, the Tessarion, Grogo, and Perna. But I already used my Perna earlier. So, I can probably use something like a rock on and I think it will work just as fine Oblivion into the collapse and we should be good from there as well so yeah very unfortunate we lost this one we're down to our final sword here and we'll be able to finish up against this Kuman Clara Savannah so what I'm trying to do here is something like a Tessarion, Rakan and a Vanessa I know this won't work but we have to believe in the resistance leader. So if we resist the stun coming up from Clara, we get to Oblivion, either the Kumun. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, we definitely lost this one. So double stun on my Tassarion and Vanessa, and they are aiming my Rakan. No crit as well. Okay. Very sad. <laughs> so the concept, what I actually thought was something like Oblivion, as long as we resist the stun, we oblivion either the Kumon or Savannah, then into the Rakan's uh, collapse. We kill off one unit and work from there, but that isn't the case. Uh, we ended up 7 wins, 3 losses here. And basically, I actually screwed up the ending. Because once they say free for all, I always get too excited and just try to simply use my swords. <laughs> there you have it guys, we have won our first siege battle for this tournament here. We got 300 crystals followed by 220 guild points and let's head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight as well. Uh, kudos to Lazy Time for putting up a good fight. 
um, honestly, I could have done better, just that I screwed up the last two fights. But yeah, yet again, we have already won that one at that point. So we'll be moving on to the semi-finals here. Candy House is already winning their match. So uh, let's just open the rubbish box real quick. Uh, I think the top right, there's still one more shiny. Can we get it? Ah, unfortunate. Oh, six star legend rune though. Okay, we'll just sell that one. <laughs> and there you have it. This will be essentially the end of the video, guys. Mm, just want to check out the Siege Battle Tournament page again. So, I think Wick Wick is winning the match. They're putting up a very good fight against Avengers. Uh, VRK and Zenith. VRK is definitely winning theirs as well. So, in a way, it's the top four guilds progressing to the semi finals. It'll be a very interesting one, guys. So, please stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Like this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. And have a great week ahead. Peace.